Hello there, Cancer, and welcome to your Oracle messages for whenever you guys get this video and it resonates for your situation, regardless of the date or time. Keep in mind, Cancer, that this is a general reading, so if you find the messages don't resonate for you at all, uh, check your moon, your rising, or your Venus signs, or feel free to check out ooh, the past Oracle messages, and also have courage at this time, okay? You guys can check out the past Oracle messages or SOS readings or pick a card readings. Those are all timeless. And you guys have to know, okay, so Cancer, you do need to realize that you are being supported here angelically. Um, a lot of you guys just, you know, there's something about having the courage and just moving forward or just doing something here. There may be something here with taking action, communication. This card wants to come out. Yeah, you guys are really um, something... Um, you know, this, this card is so, it's coming out a lot. I mean, there's like a ton of these cards too. So there is definitely something going on that's being governed by a higher power, especially when it comes to, <laughs> oh, I see, I see. Okay, Cancer. Especially when it comes to love. But what I'm seeing here, a lot of you Cancers are manifesting a new love and there's something about um, <laughs> Cupid's arrows here. So really your angels, we your angels are here to support you and they really are. They're shooting arrows of love. So expect spiritual assistance. Some of you guys, some of you guys, uh, there may be something with air travel or, you know, travel in general, but I see something very hot and passionate as well, chemistry going on here, but expect, this is what I'm saying here, just expect some type of energy surge, some type of acceleration. I'm feeling for a lot of you guys, there's something about hot passion here and Cupid's arrows, okay, love, something about love. Our wings of light are surrounding you and those you love. The current situation is governed by a higher power and the forces of love are at work. All will turn out well. Some of you guys are maybe something here with communication and just doing that, okay? Um, fire sign is showing up here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I wanna see what else comes out for you. Um, let's see, Whoop. What else for Cancer? I'm just kind of curious for you cancers out there what is it that spirit is pushing you and guiding you to have courage to take action on here because there is something about for some of you guys this is something that I'm seeing here too you're gonna have a lot of things going on and a lot of opportunities don't miss this opportunity okay some of you guys, it's going to take some courage to, um, you know, fight some fears or anxieties, excess worry about taking an opportunity or going with something here. You're just going to have to go with it. Okay. Let's see. Uh, you know what? Uh, this is just so funny. Leo energy is coming through very strong here. Look at this. <laughs> You've got the strength card and courage. I mean, this is really tied in together here. So just know that you guys really are prepared. Even if you feel like, you know, you're taking on some type of unfamiliar territory, something, you know, brand new for a lot of you guys. But also this may be a time to, for some of you cancers, to really use compassion right now. Maybe resist being impulsive at this time. So she won't got this eight of wands here because there's something about having wisdom, okay? Having strength and wisdom and your courage. And then we got the angel of courage and courage here twice, okay? There is something about you guys expecting miracles here and having spiritual help and acceleration. What else for cancer? I do feel that there's like this energy that's trying to push and move you uh, in a certain direction here, cancer. So um, some of you guys may feel there may be some, you know, there may be some fears or worries or just some thoughts um, for some of you guys about, again, there may be not, you may not have enough time to plan things or to kind of like look at things thoroughly and figure things out before you take an opportunity. But there's just something about this being fast and passionate. So just, you know, take it if it feels right at a soul level here. Um, 
expression yeah there's definitely something here about communication and expression here express how you feel clearly lovingly and honestly honestly without fear or judgment say it exactly as like it is i feel that there's something about having communication and conversation here okay there's something about compassion um possibly forgiveness here mm -hmm. okay say it exactly like it is and all will be resolved when you express to others how you truly feel okay so there may be a situation for some of you cancers that you know it might you might have to just gain the courage to really express yourself fully and freely okay trust in the power of life to guide you and um and heal all concerns self-expression is liberating and healing so this is going to be very healing for you as well and there's just something about you guys also taking some type of lead or taking some type of a uh, path that really deals with you and how you're communicating with your wisdom with um, your healing abilities for some of you cancers out there um, something with your leadership you definitely have something um, that you guys have really mastered as well when it comes to um, strength and wisdom from um, previous challenges and experiences and really assimilating that and figuring it out for yourself here. So I see something about honest communication, passionate communication for some of you guys. Let's just see what else comes out for you. So judgment is coming out twice here. <clears throat> Honestly, without fear or judgment. So there's something about letting go of judgment about oneself and others, <clears throat> especially yourself, Cancer, because Spirit is saying you guys are good enough. Let go of your fear of being judged. Some of you guys, there is this fear of being judged, right? Because you're going in and doing something here that's, you know, again, some, some of you guys, it's unfamiliar, okay? It's taking this... A sense of leadership to do what you guys are doing here it's time to release all that you have kept safely locked away in your heart <laughs> so there is something about you guys expressing something from the heart here and having the courage to do so okay your true essence and potential have been restricted by structure and, uh, and a method for long enough there's no right or wrong way just be you there's just something magical about you guys just being you and not feeling like you have to hide anything or reserve yourself i just feel that there's something about you guys having compassion in a situation especially for yourself what else for cancer Stay optimistic about your love life. Um, you guys need to stay positive right now. Something is really happening for you when it comes to your love life, when it comes to expressing, maybe even getting very flirtatious because I'm seeing Cupid's arrows here. And look, yeah, stay optimistic, okay? Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So whatever you guys are desiring, passion, romance, it's, it's going to happen here. But you have to have... You know, there's something about casting away fears. Maybe for some of you guys, it's just about, you know, having to, um, you know, stand your own ground here, maybe be alone or feel independent um, and trying to start over. Or there's just a, 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 something that you guys, spirit knows it's going to take faith and um, hope for you guys. And you guys are manifesting something here and spirit is definitely helping you guys. So uh, make sure that you keep your thoughts in check here, right? Because let go of fear and don't judge yourself. You are good enough. You are good enough. What else for cancer? And something about you guys having the courage that really manifests a miracle in your life. three of wands and it says preparation so you guys there's something you guys do need to get ready for here okay so for some of you guys see this alone time with your angels as preparation time 
you have been prepped for this for a long time coming and now spirit is saying watch what you guys watch what comes towards you watch something here um, this is another card about staying optimistic you know looking towards the future with hope with faith and seeing results here fire sign so a lot of you guys are manifesting a person here you're also manifesting some type of results when it comes to taking action um, previously here so yeah a lot of you guys you, you know spirit is saying have the courage right now um, something is materializing for you guys so it's all going to prepare you for the next level here what else for cancer more fire sign Shocking change. Mm. We have the tower and then we have, I'm seeing the empress at the bottom of the deck here. I am seeing some significant shocking change and an opportunity with a person here. I'm going to get a little bit more though with this tower. Give me a little bit more. I've got empress energy here. Taurus um, Libra energy is coming through here. I'm seeing something about you guys um, having a major transformation and a sense of, um, I don't know a new sense of yourself here but there's something about a person here but i want a little bit more with this tower here for for cancer give me a little bit more about this tower because i do see a situation where there was something that really broke down here so guess what <laughs> i knew it oh i'm telling you I'm telling you, Cancer, I could feel it at the beginning of the reading here. Oh my goodness, you guys, there's something about getting flirtatious and feeling confident here. Make sure you guys are doing things that is really giving you guys a sense of um, feeling confident about yourself because you're showing up as this empress. And I feel that this is this transformation that you guys are really taking on here, really embodying the empress energy and being r radiant. But not only that, it's like, I don't know. It's like you guys are getting blessed here by lots of blessings. <laughs> I mean, abundantly, materially, and spiritually here. But, oh my gosh, look what spirit is showing me here. I was telling you, Cupid's arrows, okay? I feel you, okay, some of you Cancers are going to have a hard time getting flirtatious because of things that have happened in the past. And not only that. I'm going to call some of you guys out on this, but it's okay because we all have to deal with self-esteem issues and insecurities. Um, you know, spirit is like, you guys need to just know and trust. I mean, I hope that you cancers are really seeing that you really are valuable, worthy, and good enough. Okay. Hello, Empress. So there is going to be... <laughs> There's going to be something here about um, a shocking surprise here of meeting someone or having someone and getting very flirtatious. So just trust that whatever came down in the past here was really to release anything that was false, even with self, okay? Because I feel the other thing that's happening here is I, I, some of you guys have already had this realization for some of you cancers, but some of you guys... You just need to prepare yourself because I feel what you're going to see is like this complete different energy about you and something, you know, physically changing about you in the positive because I just see you being this beautiful radiating energy and just very abundant, um, very prosperous for a lot of you guys. So, you know, don't be afraid to do things that make you guys feel beautiful and feel good. In fact, I would suggest doing that because it's all about you guys are preparing and things are going to get be moving fast here. But there's something about you guys. I'm seeing the, um, you know, eight of wands here, this thing about expression and communication, right? And you have this message about expressing how you feel. It's like, don't be afraid to be flirty and to say, you know, uh, things, you know, how you feel. Don't reserve yourself. Okay. <laughs> All right. What else for um, cancer?
let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others mm. yeah some of you guys are rebuilding yourself and you're rebuilding um it's a sense of rebuilding yourself because i see you guys there's something about you guys opening up and asking for help for others friends or not friends it could be acquaintances um i i just feel that you guys are meant to like are destined to um, meet someone here by divine intervention so um and also what i'm seeing is you notice this okay okay yeah some of you cancers it's about you know pampering and beautifying yourself and maybe you do want to ask friends for help and some of you guys there may be something with a spiritual friend or uh, someone that you guys can um ask for and get support from okay let your friends help you this is a time to let your friends help you and there's something for some of you guys letting your your friends or the the people around you help you so that you can get um a, you know you that you can get rest some type of rest and um because I see you guys receiving something here, okay? And being blessed here. What else for Cancer? Your love life is being affected by children. Yeah, some of you guys, there is. For some, not all of you guys have children, but there is uh, children involved here so there is some um you know there is an issue here <laughs> i'm not saying it's an issue but your love life is being affected by children also for those of you guys who don't have children there is like the six of cups energy going on so uh, you know it's gonna feel there's something about some type of newness and it's going to feel very um loving and like a puppy love kind of situation not that you know not that that's going to be what it is like just puppy love but it's that new it's kind of that new adoring kind of feeling and being adored i mean i'm just seeing these like it's very flirty and you know cute and there's something about loyalty here too so um i see something about you guys being childlike because we've got this card of attraction you attract romantic life by enjoying this moment fully so there may be something here about getting out of the mind as much as possible getting out of and releasing self oneself from judgment or being self-critical because yeah i see that for some there's like this some of you guys are going to have this crazy like realization about how beautiful and valuable you are okay so honor that um and i see this situation here where if you can be childlike that really puts you in a state of the present moment right or doing things smelling the roses you know being tuned with things in your surroundings and and it's not always easy to get out of the mind all you know but you know the more you practice and the more you just kind of be at ease um, the more attractive you are and this is what I'm saying it's like you guys there's something radiant and attractive about you really cancer please know this oh my goodness a lot of you guys have a lot of people that are attracted to you you just may not be noticing it some of you guys do notice it but you might be still like kind of hiding yourself and you know which is fine okay just get ready to get, get flirtatious and fight your fears some of you guys are gonna have to fight expressing yourself okay what else for um cancer now some of you cancers there may be something here about wanting future future children um you know so just just you know keep that in mind for some of you guys anyhow let's see what else communicate clearly okay mm -hmm. now some of you guys kind of wonder if there's someone because i'm kind of picking up six of cups energy too there may be something with communicating with someone from the past here but let's not talk about the past we're talking about now and your future here so let's not let's not worry about that let's worry about where you're going here because it's good but we do have this coming out like you know like three times about communication here too self-expression is liberating and healing look at this self-expression is liberating look at the tower this is liberating Woo. you guys are really going to come into your power and really feel confident in what you guys are saying and expressing here 
So trust in the power of life to guide you. So yeah, look at this. Express how you feel clearly and lovingly and honestly without fear or judgment and say exactly like it is. <laughs> okay, so just remember that. And I'm seeing these dolphins, so I'm seeing something very playful. I'm seeing friends. I'm seeing flirt. I'm seeing children. Something very playful is happening here, so don't worry. What else for cancer? Not all of you cancers. Not all of you. I'm going to say it, though. There was something here with a mother for some of you guys or some type of um, maternal energy. Um, yeah, there could have been something here that we might have had to uh, clean up or deal with or having a revelation about. You know, that's so interesting. I was talking about this mother energy because now we got this. This to me is like Queen of Cups, Empress energy anyways, carrying this energy of offering um, comfort and healing. So yeah, there's something that is going to give you guys a sense of comfort and healing. I mean, I feel that you guys are going to go back to this, this state of being very, I don't know, free because I'm seeing this as a judgment card here. So I'm seeing something about you guys really having some success in letting go of the past or whatever, you know, whatever you've had to kind of like really overcome and getting to a place where you guys are in the state of really being in, in comfort and, and, and a very free energy, right? Because we're not holding on to the past and we're not worried about the future. We're just getting very playful and being with what we have right now. Um, and there is this energy that you guys are being offered here so there's some type of um comfort being offered there is this energy of compassion so i see a lot of you guys uh cancers as this energy of um healing compassion but don't forget to allow it to come to you too because that's what i'm seeing here it's time for you to get the support the love and the healing and the compassion you so deserve now Okay, because I feel a lot of you guys have been kind of doing that for a while. All right. So whatever the situation is, it's going to give you guys a lot of peace and healing. Okay. It's very, there's some kind of very divine motherly energy too coming through as well, cancers. So there's like this angelic mother like being guardian angel um, really surrounding you and wrapping their lights. I mean, look at this. Our wings of light surround you and those you love. So this current situation is being governed by a higher power. And here we've got this tower here. What else for cancer? Well, 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 there it is. <laughs> I was just pick so cancers yeah there's the reconciliation okay we got someone from the past is returning to your life okay so um prepare right remember communicate clearly there may be a need to not be reactive and impulsive here angel of courage though having moving forward there's something about you guys um expressing communicating okay communicating clearly here um, from someone from your past okay so some of you guys um, because it is a general reading this could definitely be someone from the past that you guys might have had a breakup with or some type of you know something happened some of you guys this could be it, this could be someone um, in your recent passing or someone that you guys know that could be popping up um, just be open to whatever whatever is coming towards you I just, regardless, it's going to feel, uh, it's going to feel, you're going to feel like a soul resonance with it, okay? So someone from your past <laughs> is going to show up on your path here. So communicate clearly. Don't be afraid to express yourself because um, I'm getting this kind of energy that it's like kind of half and half because uh, it is a general reading. So some of you guys, there, there is someone, there's someone that's already so what I'm getting is someone's already seen you or spotted you. There's just something about that for some of you guys. Um, and they're going to pop up again, <laughs> right? Take action. 
express yourself, whatever. Um, and some of you guys, because I was kind of picking up Six of Cups energy, maybe some from the past here and having communication and whatever you guys need. But regardless of whatever happens, just stay optimistic about your love life, okay? What else for Cancer? Maybe some of you Cancers dealt with someone that was really immature here in the past too. <clears throat> Maybe they've had a, <laughs> a total epiphany here. Who knows? Let's see. Oh, you guys really are ready for the next stage here. You have what it takes. You guys got the world card here. So, I mean, preparation, something you guys have done and now you're ready to explore a whole new chapter, a whole new phase here. And I really want to say too, you guys are like... A lot of you, what I see, a lot of you cancers have been doing, you have been doing something and focusing on yourself um, and, and bringing yourself, um, like bringing yourself up higher and higher, having more self-confidence. Some of you guys are still working on that, um, but I do see you guys really achieving something. There's something about you guys getting results for whatever you guys have been putting effort to that doesn't have to do with partnership and love and romance, so just be, be prepared for that. But yeah, you guys are preparing for this for the next thing here. I feel like a whole new chapter for some of you guys. Um, a higher level of commitment here when it comes to a person, when it comes to your love life. Okay, what else for Cancer? Oh, maybe some of you cancers it could be somebody from your childhood as well that could be a possibility uh, with this someone from the past here let's see a year from now <laughs> a year from now there's something about you guys um, because we've got this three of wands here so it's like everything is gonna really come together um, and you're gonna see all of it manifest but I'll get a little I want a little bit more with this for cancer please what do you want cancer to know a year from now I feel like for a lot of you guys just finally feeling settled um, finally feeling like you've hit a stage in your life where you can kind of sit and relax and not worry about things and stress um, and also see your abundance give us a little bit more <laughs> romance wow love blossoming so I don't know, maybe a year from now, you guys are going to have a romance. I don't know what Spirit's trying to say here. Um, transformation, romance, partnership. I'm seeing two of cups here. So I see a situation where a lot of you guys are really resolving something from the past, really closing up a chapter. Um, there's something about you guys having an amazing transformation regardless. And there's something about you guys coming into this full circle um, a year from now. So really a year from now, expect your romantic life to be good. Really? Okay. Um, so just trust, trust in this, this whole process right now. Some of you guys, the romance. Okay. I really, there's some, because the thing is, is I'm kind of also seeing something a year from now. Some of you guys are, might already be married to this person <laughs> because I'm seeing something happening here pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, I feel for a lot of you guys, there's a situation where romance could bloom into um, getting married or having a family or being blended, um, being committed, being the same house or something like that, okay? And you're going to see it from a year from now. So stay open to romance. You guys are getting ready to really get flirtatious and enjoy um, romantic gestures, enjoy being flirty, enjoying your body, enjoying yourself enjoying another okay so yeah yeah i see something's going this romance is gonna lead to something big time what else for cancer I'm not, I, I was gonna, 
ah, I was going to get more for this, you know, but I was like, let's just leave it like that. And it's really anyways, 10 of cups. Yeah. Ah, this is, I mean, spirit is already giving me confirmation about this. So this is, this is what I was really picking up. Something's going to happen in your romance life, in your love life. A year from now, your life is going to be feeling very, very content and happy. Look at this Ten of Cups. So you're going to be very comfortable. Um, I'm seeing just hanging out with the, your loved ones, um, having abundance and love, um, having a family, whatever it is, just having that bond and emotional fulfillment. So your Ten of Cups is... <laughs> A year from now, a lot of you guys will end up being married or living in the same house or just being really committed. Just so just know that. Just know that. Okay. What else? There really is something about being very playful for a lot of you guys and but children too here so you know i'm just seeing a lot of fun you know gathering we've, we're watching the stars or camping or we're doing something bonfire whatever having fun with your loved ones but some of you guys need to prepare some of you guys are gonna if you you know you you if you don't have children this is definitely a possibility here okay so if that's what you want then you know it, the cards are saying yes justice look at this okay you guys are ready for the next phase of your life and there's something about a soul contract and really coming into a new situation for you guys you are ready and this is the thing i see something about you guys um really honoring and doing these things uh that are good for you but there's something that about this justice here Okay, I wouldn't be surprised if someone from the past um, wants to come clean or have an apology here, and I'm seeing some people confessing here, okay? Um, but there's a situation here that is going to be made right for you, Cancer, because a lot of you guys, you just need to know to have this courage, um, you know, that you truly are, uh, you're really on this right path here. We're here to support you. The universe is supporting you some of you guys had had a situation where like fate and karma is playing out right now but i see a situation here where you guys are really definitely ready for the next phase so there may be something about making decisions right now um closing things up or you know getting ready for the new phase here but i want a little bit more a uh, libra energy is coming through i want a little bit more with this justice card for cancer please something ha it's like something has to be made right here i do feel a lot of you cancers dealt with some type of injustice give me a little bit more with this justice for cancer mm -hmm. stress nine of swords so some of you cancers, there is a lot about alleviating um, the, the mind with the stress. Some of you guys need to release yourself from any type of feeling bad about the past, um, doing something wrong. There's something about just really surrendering at this time and letting justice happen for you. Uh, karma is playing out right now. Karma and fate is playing out right now. So you just need to kind of trust the situation. A lot of you guys need to let go of the stress though, because something is going to be handled fairly for you. Okay. Air sign is showing up here. So trust that justice is going to be, um, you know, by your side here, cancer. What else for cancer? Some of you cancers, my oh gosh, hopefully, I hope not, but there may be something here with legal stuff that could be stressing you out here. So, um, and with, with anything in general, just make sure you're doing, you know, you're doing um, decisions and actions that are noble and best, okay?
because this is all about being in the state of authenticity and integrity here, um, not having fear, not feeling judged. <laughs> See, I told you, you guys are going to have passion. They're, you guys are going to have passion, okay? Again, about self-expression. So some of you cancers may feel like that might be a challenge to really open yourself up and be vulnerable in the state of really receiving and giving passion. Don't hold back. This is what I'm this is what I'm hearing is don't hold back. Don't hold yourself back. Allow it to to flourish, okay? Yeah, you guys are you guys are getting prepared for this. Okay, uh, what else for Cancer? Some of you Cancers might be stressed about a decision that you made in the past here, but you've got to release that. <clears throat> what else for Cancer? Imagine. So you guys are having to, to step into a whole new... Um, yeah, Divine Mystery. This is the thing that I'm seeing. You guys are stepping into a whole new phase. Um, I will just say this, okay? Because I do feel some of you Cancers kind of need to hear this. I do feel that there may be this energy of really balancing oneself within you, Cancer. And so I, I feel that there's you're going to know who or what you guys want to bring with you into the next chapter of your life than you know your new world here okay you guys really are stepping into like the a sense of unknown territory but you guys are going to be blessed here just stay optimistic and imagine clearly visualize life you guys want and feel it in your heart and your soul and so it will come to be see that's the secret feeling it in your heart and soul because when you guys feel it in your heart and soul that's actually having confidence and this is what is signaling out into the universe here. So it will come to be for you guys. And I mean, it's here, you know, and I, I was actually seeing like star energy. So I really see you guys um, getting a, a dream and a vision and a wish fulfilled here. And the other thing is, the spirit knows you guys have to trust in the divine mystery here, right? Just as, you know, you along with the sun, earth, moon, and stars are part of one creation, a divine mystery unfolding each moment, right? <laughs> you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment, moment fully, okay? It's unfolding at each moment. So be present, more about being present. See, this is a little secret here. Be present and feel the power of now and be in the moment and witness the wonder of all. And when you guys are in that state, this is when it will come to be. So just trust in the divine mystery here. Spirit knows it's going to take you guys a lot of courage. But you you really have um, been prepared for this. Okay. What else for cancer? Two of, uh, two of wands, yep. Yeah, so I felt like we needed to look at this because I feel some of you cancers were still in this place of, you know, judgment, even with ourselves or a situation, feeling stressed about decisions or feeling stressed maybe or anxious about something here when it comes to justice or having things be made right. Let go of being judged, right? You're good enough. It's time to release all that you have kept safely locked away in your heart. Because right now, it's about you guys not being restricted, okay? So, Spirit is saying a lot, um, it's, a, it's time to come out, you know, out of the comfort zone. Um, a lot of you guys are coming into new partnerships. So, really trust the situation. You're opening yourself up to... A partnership that really shares the same value and visions as you do okay with that ten of cups so just notice you know the two cups that are behind you 
and I'm saying, I see two of cups here with the romance card. Hidden solutions, right? Taking time, allowing yourself to heal, allowing yourself, I mean, from this point on, you know, I would say from the Nine of Swords and this Justice card, from this point on right now, there's nothing you can do from the to change the past. So your, your moment of power is right now. So right now it's about making decisions from this point on that is in aligned with these goals and these visions that you have of your future here about what you want to be optimistic about and also what's best and noble for you and all others involved. And this is how the universe really blesses you and, and makes things really unfold in your behalf. What else for uh, cancer? Yep, you guys have been tested for your to really come into listening to your own spirituality, to really be calm in a situation, especially when there's a lot of chaos going on, inner or outer chaos. This is a time to really... Um, be powerful, okay? Also, just try to stay calm even if your emotions are going haywire. I can, I mean, I definitely feel there's a lot of emotions going on here. So just trust in your spirituality. It's going to guide you guys in the right way. A lot of you guys have been challenged and tested because of your spirituality, because you guys are definitely moving and being guided towards what is intuitively feeling right to, to you. Um, and actually was seeing the King of Cups there for a second, but yeah, this is the Knight of Cups. So a lot of you guys, there's been a lot of, um, tests and challenges when it came to love and romance in the past. <laughs> okay. But it's actually putting you guys, um, it really put you guys on the path of your true spirituality and what feels right to you. Yeah. I, you know, get ready for, uh, romance to blossom here. Okay. And just trust right now. Um, in your spirituality, in your faith, okay? I'm also seeing this as this card of imagine here because we've got this knight that is kind of daydreaming and imagining what they want in their love life or what they want to call forth here. So, you know, feel it in your heart and your soul and so it will come to be. What else for Cancer. do it now oh my gosh there's something about you guys yeah just do it I mean this on this card of courage it says just do it and then it says do it now okay now listen to this because we were talking about decisions here with the justice card don't put it off any longer so there's something you guys just know if if there's really nothing you guys can really figure out that you are not putting off then just be aware that when the opportunity and decision comes, you need to take action then and you need to have confidence and the courage to take action then and when it happens, okay? So, um, but there is something for some of you guys. Yeah, like do it now. Don't put it off any longer. Have the courage. Listen to your intuition. I mean, look, this is you listening to your intuition here for it's guiding, for it is the guiding voice of your soul. See, you guys really are... Um, you know, being asked to really trust the voice of your soul, your intuition, Cancer. Okay, uh, what else for Cancer? All right, that's it for those. So let's find out how is Spirit helping Cancer? How is Spirit helping Cancer? The other thing that I'm seeing is you guys want to do things now um, because like do it now. I'm seeing the um, world card. So make sure that you guys aren't leaving anything like loose ends, you know, get things done um, so that you really feel complete and whole and you're not leaving any baggage behind or, you know, because there's something about your aura being very guided and protected as well in this stage. How is spirit helping cancer? Yep. 
you know, I'm not really getting uh, cancer. You're like the chariot energy here too. So choosing a new direction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel that you guys are, all, a lot of you guys are going to be choosing a whole new direction here. And this is exactly how spirit's helping you guys. Okay, so don't stress and don't worry. Okay. No, do things that are noble and best. Do things that are within integrity and just know, know in your heart here that things are going to work out in your behalf, okay? Spirit's helping you guys go into a whole new direction. So yeah, you know, we got this thing about courage and just do it and do it now. <laughs> so, you know, getting things done here getting things lined up and moving towards a new direction. And that's like that eight of wands energy. So moving into a whole new direction. Okay. By the way, it has a lot to do with your passion and spirituality. Okay. Love and light. Take care.